Okay, so in this video, we will prove part C of the ratio test, which says, if the limit as n tends to infinity of a n plus 1 over a n in absolute value is equal to 1, then the test simply fails, which means we cannot conclude either convergence or divergence of the corresponding series. And to prove this, we'll simply give two examples of series, where in both cases, the limit is 1, in one case the series converges, in the other the series diverges. And the two series we'll choose are the familiar p-series, where p equals 1 and p equals 2. So look at the first series, summing from 1 to infinity, 1 over n. So a n here is simply 1 over n. And we know this series diverges, right? This is the harmonic series, so 1 plus a half plus a third plus a quarter, and so forth. This series is infinite, hence diverges. Or, of course, you can look at it as a p-series, as I've said, with p equals 1, but p-series only converge if p is strictly larger than 1. Because 1 is not larger than 1, then the p-series diverges. So let's show that the limit of a n plus 1 over a n in absolute value is indeed equal to 1. Well, as a n is positive, we can clearly drop the absolute value. If a n is 1 over n, a n plus 1 is 1 over n plus 1. And here be careful, we're not saying a n and add 1 to it. We are saying a subscript n plus 1. So it's a substitution. We are replacing the index n by n plus 1. So a n plus 1 is 1 over n plus 1. And if you divide by a n, you divide by 1 over n. If you divide by a fraction, you of course multiply by the reciprocal, n over 1. So that leaves you with n over n plus 1. Simple limit, multiplied top and bottom by 1 over n. Multiply through. And you have 1 over 1 plus 1 over n. As n tends to infinity, 1 over n shrinks to 0. We're left with 1 over 1, which is 1. So you see, here's an example of a series where the ratio test returns a limit of 1 and the series diverges. Let's now look at the other p-series where p equals 2. As p is strictly larger than 1, this p-series converges. It's a very special p-series, if you recall, and this is, again, far from obvious. The series converges to pi squared over 6. So, we could, of course, ignore this and simply state we have a p-series with p being 2, 2 is larger than 1, Therefore, the p-series converges, and that's it. Let's now look at the limit, as n tends to infinity, of a n plus 1 over a n in absolute value. Well, the terms we're summing are 1 over n squared. This is, of course, a n. And if a n is 1 over n squared, a n plus 1 is 1 over n plus 1 squared. And if we divide by a n, we divide by 1 over n squared. So we multiply by the reciprocal, n squared over 1. Multiply across. 
and you have quite simply n squared over n plus 1 squared. Now here, you don't have to expand this out. You can simply put both under the power of 2. So you can look at this as the limit as n tends to infinity of n over n plus 1. I'll leave myself some space here, all squared, right? And if you look inside of the square, you have n over n plus 1. So multiply top and bottom by 1 over n. And you will now obtain a rather simple limit. You'll have 1 over 1 plus 1 over n, all squared. As n tends to infinity, 1 over n shrinks to 0. So you're left with 1 over 1 squared, which is simply 1. And now this completes the proof. You see, here's one example of a P series which diverges, and the limit as n tends to infinity of a n plus 1 over a n in absolute value is equal to 1. Here is another P series which now converges, and the limit is also equal to 1. And so you see, when you try to apply the ratio test, and the limit is 1, you cannot conclude anything. As here is an example where the series diverges, and here is an example where the series converges. And that's it. The key point is that we should have known ahead of time that the ratio test was going to fail in both cases because there was no exponential function, there was no factorial, and there was no n to the n term. So this will always happen if you try and apply the ratio test where you don't have an exponential or a factorial or an n to the n, the limit will be 1 and the test will simply fail. And that's it.